What's going on everybody, it's Delmar and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you how you can integrate the Meta Voice SDK into your Unity project. I'm gonna be showing you a demo that I created to do that. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I start working on it. Move cube up. Move cube down. Move capsule up. Move cylinder forward. Set rotation 30. Set red. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new app. I already have one already trained, but I wanna walk you through what you need to do to create a new one. So it's gonna do a private app. We're gonna be using English. And I'm going to show you how to create it and then we'll use the other one so that you know and have something that already has been trained. But the first thing that you need to do, you need to do an intent. So I show you that I could basically set a color, right? So I can say set color to blue, or if I wanna just say something short like set blue or set red, then I can do something like this. And then basically you need to specify the intent. In this case, it's gonna be something that is going to resemble a method. And then what you need to do here is you need to set up the entity. This one is going to be, let's go ahead and double click it. And this is gonna be the color entity that we're going to be basically populating with different words. And then I just gonna do train and validate. Then what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna do another one for the actual set rotation. So just do set rotation to, and let's say that we wanna do 20. We can do 30, 40, we can add as many as, many as we need. And then I'll just double click on this to create the entity, or we can just create the intent here. So the intent is gonna be the set rotation, and then hit enter. And then I'll double click on the entity here, and basically it's going to be rotation, it's gonna be, the class or the holder of that value. So we just do 20 there. And then we can, we don't need to do a trade. I We could use that in the future, but for now, it's gonna keep it as simple as we can. And then lastly, I'm gonna be doing moving a shape and also a direction. So we can say move cube, and then we can say forward, forward. And then in this case, we're gonna have two different, you know, two different properties or two different entities. This one is going to be the cube entity. This one is going to be actually a shape. And then I'll just hit enter. And then this one is going to be the direction. So I'll just do something like this. And then hit enter. And now you can see that we have two different entities that are already mapped. And then once we're good to go, we can, oh, we didn't really set the intent. We need to set the intent. So we can say move, move shape. Normally this is gonna resemble a method, right? So just do that. So now we have an intent and then we have two different entities and now we can say train and validate. And normally what I did to set up the other one is I would finish creating this and then I would go into management here and then you can look at the intents that we just created and then we can also look at the different entities. Let's say that the color, right? We wanna specify multiple colors. Say I wanna do red, I can do red and then it's gonna use the one that I use by default, which is blue. And then if we wanted to do something like yellow, we can do yellow and you can add as many colors as you want to have your app determine. And I can do the same thing on the direction, right? The direction is going to be, I already did forward, so I'm just gonna do backward. And if I want to do another one, we can do left. And then, you know, we can do as many as we need. So in this case, it's gonna be in 3D space. So we're gonna need all of them specified. For now, we can just leave it as this. And then lastly, it's gonna be the shapes that we want to allow. So in this case, I already did cube, so we can do, maybe we wanna do cylinder, and then perhaps we wanna do also a capsule. We can do a capsule. And the way that this works is you have to specify like what they call utterance. I think that's how you say it. And then you also need to train. And the way that it's gonna work is you have to basically fit in as many tests as you can through the microphone. And then data is going to be populated in here and then you can basically say, okay, this is good to go. This one is not good to go. So I already did that with a different app. So if we go here to this one, you're gonna see that we're gonna have a lot more understanding. In fact, if I go here and it's gonna say, you know, understanding review, you can say here, look in here, all the things that I've been saying for this app, like color Y, that's not valid. So that one is out of scope. Uh, move Q forward, that's actually, didn't understand that I say cube and he thought I was saying Q and that was out, out of scope. And then move cube, right? That is a valid one, so you wanna map it. So you basically go through this process and say next, 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 and then 
map it to what is correctly, you know, what, what is actually correct in your app. And then if you go in here to utterance, you're gonna see all the ones that are already here. There's about 102 that you can, you know, that has been processed. You can also go here into settings and then basically copy the, the server token, which is what we're gonna need. So this one is partially set up. I already have a couple of shapes in here. Also, the UI has been bound. So if you wanna get this code, you can get it from Patreon today. It has everything that you need to get going. But basically this is already being set up. All I'm gonna do is just set up the some of the settings that we're gonna need so that you see what needs to be configured. So you're gonna need the Oculus integration, which I already downloaded if you go to Windows and then Package Manager. I have a lot of videos about this so you guys can look at the video above it to basically set it up. But if you go into the actual assets, which is what we are, and you already, let's say that you already downloaded it, you're gonna see that it's gonna be, you know, Oculus integration is gonna be available and it contains the voice SDK, which is what we're using today. So the first thing that you need to do to get this set up is we're gonna go here to where it says voice SDK and we need to set up settings. I already copied the server access token. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on link. And it's gonna ask me to save basically a resource. So I'm gonna save it right here. And this could be voice SDK settings. And then hit enter. As soon as you do that, it's gonna pop up with this, which is gonna be really cool. You can look at application, you can look at intents. It's gonna be all the intents that we already set up. You can see more shapes, set color. You can also look at the different entities that we have available, different roles. And then if you have traits, you can also look at some of those traits. So that's basically the setup there. The next thing that we're gonna need to do though, is if you go here to voice SDK, there's also an understanding viewer. And this is gonna allow you to test some of these. So let's say that I wanted to do that move cube, let's say forward, and then you hit, you hit send. You're going, it's going to evaluate it through the server, which is the wit.ai, and it's gonna tell you, okay, these are all different entities, and you can actually use this to map some of the things that we're gonna be doing next. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Then the next thing that we need to do is gonna go ahead and right click in here, create, and we're gonna go into voice SDK, and it's gonna say add app voice experience to scene, which is what we wanna do, and I'm gonna go ahead and put these right above it here. And then we also need to implement the voice intent controller. So let me go ahead and do that. Right now, I'm just basically mapping to the app voice experience, which is part of the Oculus voice. I'm also binding to a few methods. This is so that we can see the full transcription and also the partial transcription, which is all validated and populated from these two events. Also, I wanted to make sure that we could only hit the space button on the keyboard just when the experience is active. So when you hit it once, the on request creator is gonna get executed. We're gonna set that property to true. And then when the request is completed, we're gonna set it to false. That way we don't keep recording through or mic. And then this is gonna be just two different log entries that I'm going to need. We also need to activate this when I'm hitting the space bar on my keyboard. And then if it's not active, then I'm gonna allow it. And then there's a check in here. And then there's gonna be three different methods that we are binding, which are basically the intents that I show you. And normally they pass in an array of strings. So you can see that here, we are calling these display values, a multiple one of these methods, and then just displaying that information. And this first one is pretty easy because there's only one value that we can get. We can get only a color, right? In this case, if the value that we're getting from this color utility, which we're getting from the info array, if this parses to this type, which is the native color type that Unity has, let's say that we do yellow, we do gray, magenta, or any of this, it's gonna get map basically casted to this object. And if it is casted and we go through all the controllers, then we're gonna be calling that set color on each one of those shape controllers. And then I do the same thing with rotation. Rotation is pretty simple. It's only one value that we need to basically convert, which is gonna be the, the target rotation. This array is only gonna have one index, so we should be okay in here. And then we're gonna be looping through every single one of those controllers and then changing the rotation. This one was a little more interesting because there's multiple entities in the sentence, right? We could say move shape, but if we're gonna be moving a shape, it's gonna be move a cube and then also a direction. So we can say move cube forward. So that means that we have two different options. So on the first index, we're gonna be getting the cube or the cylinder. So if you go in here, you're gonna see that I have cube, capsule, and cylinder. 
I also have all the different directions that I am currently allowing. So that's what we're saying, index zero of this array, and then also index one of this array. And then what I'm doing in here is just say, okay, all of your controllers, you have a shape that it's a cube, so give me that controller and just move that controller. Don't move all of them at the same time, which is different to how we did this one. This is more specific. So there's a lot of flexibility of what you can do there. Oculus and then Voice SDK, Understanding Viewer. And let's say that we wanted to map the, the color, right? So we can say set and then blue. That's gonna be the most simplistic intent that we have. And once it evaluates for that, you're gonna see that we have the entity, the intents, and everything in here should be good. So what we can do with this though, is I can say, you know what? I want to do, I want to match it on this value, on this entity. So I'm gonna add a response matcher. And you're gonna see that as soon as I do that, it adds basically an intent. It also has a value match, which is going to, basically it's going to give us the color value that it got from that sentence. And then we can also map it to a method, which I'm gonna do by just dragging and dropping this controller, changing this to runtime only. And then this is gonna be the first one, which is gonna be set color. Move cube right. And looks like that worked. Move cube up. Move cube down. Move cube left. Move capsule up. And you guys can see that I'm also printing everything to the log. So this is really helpful because I can see the values that are coming out, which are the values that we got from these logger than instance that log info because I'm getting basically displaying all the items in the in the array. And then if I wanted to do a different action, let's say that I wanted to rotate by 20, I can say something like this. Set rotation to 20. Set rotation to 20. Move cylinder up. Set to red. Set to blue. And that gives you an idea of how everything works. So the other thing that you can also do here, just so that you can see how this is coming in, I'm gonna go ahead and add a breakpoint to one of these events because I had to do that when I was troubleshooting these and making sure that things were coming in correctly. So I have a breakpoint on that. We can go back into Unity and I'm gonna say, you know, move cube forward. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that as soon as I press the space key, move cube forward. And I know that this event got executed because we can see the breakpoint in here. And if we look at the array, you can see that. So let's try something that is not what I, what I basically, a direction that is valid. So I'm gonna try that one more time. Let's see, we can say like move cube to the corner or something like that. Move cube to the corner. Move cube to the corner. Okay, it's no, it's no understanding that I'm saying cube. Let me say that one more time. Move cube to the corner. Okay, so you see, it did know it did know that I was actually trying to move a shape, but if you look in here, this is not getting a valid direction because corner is not one of the directions that I could, you know, that are valid. One thing that I could do to do that is we can go here into shapes and I could add the corner to this direction, but corner is really not a direction. But let's say that we wanted to do that, right? You can go into with AI and we can go into entities and then direction. And I can add a new, basically a new keyword in here and then train it and then run it again and everything should work. And this code is available in Patreon, so you guys can download it as of today. If you're already a Patreon, let's go ahead and just go ahead and request it and I'll be able to share it with you. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.